In this video, we will continue with the trapezium rule. You will find this on page 537 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. The diagram shows the curve Y is equal to E to the power of X cos X for X is bigger than zero and smaller than a half pi shown on the graph. Okay, use the trapezium rule with three intervals. Always very important to notice that. To estimate the shaded area, give your answer correct to three significant figures. Okay, so what is A? This is A. This is going to be B, that point. Okay, and what is N? It's three intervals. And if I subtract, divide, I get pi over six. Now, this is usually what the intervals that you will continue. So you will, it's the multiples of pi over 6. So if it's pi over 6, or if you say 2 times pi over 6, then it's actually pi over 3. And if you say 3 times pi over 6, then it's, it's pi over 2. So you see, so this will help you to determine this x values. And now, this I'm just going to substitute. So I'm going to press in my calculator. Um, can I just show you maybe here? You're just going to say y is equal e to the power of x cos x. So it's going to be e to the power of 0 cos. And in the place of you're going to put 0. And remember this is 1 and this is 1 and that's where I got 1. And so you continue. And then you put... Um, pi over 6, pi over 6, and, and just press it on your calculator. I'm going to try to press the, this one. So if it's going to be y is equal to e, I'm just going to press the first one with you. Pi over 6 cos pi over 6. Okay, so shift, uh, let's get e bracket, and then it's shift, pi divide 6 close the bracket equals multiply cos bracket shift pi divide 6 close the bracket equals and I if they say uh, correct the free significant so make it 4 then so it's 1.462 I get 1.46193 but that is going to be correct and then I continue and I continue and this is my values. Okay, so remember, always work to the least one more decimal place or significant. In this case, significant than the one you ask. Okay. Then you put H. Remember, H is that pi. Divide 2. Then the first one. Then this middle ones. Remember, this is the middle ones. I, I multiply with 2 because there are 2 of them. And then the last one, 0. And then I just press it on the calculator. And then the last one, state with a reason whether the trapezium rule gives an underestimate or an overestimate of the true values. There I showed you, if you draw it in, you see it's a little bit under, it's not over. So from the diagram, it can be seen that this is an underestimate, since the top edges of the strips all lie below the curve. Um, as the number of strips increases, so too does the accuracy of the estimation. So the more, more intervals you have, the more accurate your answer will be. Okay, but I, I want to show you this summary. So under or overestimate. Okay, over or under. So this, if it's concave, then it's usually an overestimate. And if it's convex, that then the diagram gives an underestimate to the area. So when a curve is partly convex and partly concave over the required interval, it is not so easy to predict whether the trapezium rule will give an underestimate or an overestimate. But this one, we will look at the other one. This one was actually very, very clear. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. So the diagram shows the curve. The shaded region R is bounded by the curve and by the lines 0 and 1. And Y in this one, 0. Okay. Now, let's start. 
Use the trapezium rule, so I must go for this, and it's four intervals to estimate the area of R giving correct to two decimal places. That, that's very important that I see all that. Okay, so let's just write down first the equation. Minus x squared lin x plus 1. Okay, now I'm going to start by just writing all the things down. The, remember, this is A, this is B. So A is 0. B is 1. N, how many intervals must there be? Can you remember? 4. Okay. And then H is B minus A over N. And that is 1 minus 0 over 4. And that is going to be a quarter. Okay. Now I'm going to create my table. So I want to make one extra just to show the age. Okay. Sometimes if it's too small, the first one can be small. So let's just go. Because it's just, this one must be a bit bigger. Otherwise, I'm going to struggle with the decimal. Okay, let's see if it's going to work. Okay, so this is going to be x. Let's get the pen correct. x, and this is going to be y, and then I will start with y0. Okay, let's go. I'll prefer that out. Okay, and this will be y1, y2, and y3. And, oh, there's going to be another one. Because, remember, uh, it's always one more. It's almost like, so, this must be to up to Y4. Okay, so, you can make it long enough. Let's just go and make it a little bit longer. Because at the end, okay, it's a bit messy, but I think you can see. At the end, it's going to be, say for example, just go into the previous, just to show you. If it's three intervals, but because we count this, so it's one, two, three, four. So it's always one more line. So it's three intervals, but it's one, two, three, four. So just keep it in mind. Okay. I'm going to substitute in my formula. Okay, the first thing, it starts at zero. Okay, so let's just make zero. And then I said to you, this value of h must help you so the, in multiples of a quarter. So then it's going to be a quarter, and a quarter plus a quarter is a half, and then it's going to be three quarters, and then, um, then it's going to be one. Okay, so that is very important. And now I'm just going to substitute it into my formula. So I'm going to have y is equal to 2. My, okay, remember this is my formula. I think I can just substitute and just focus here. Okay, so it's going to be 2 minus 0 squared ln 0 plus 1. And that is going to give you uh, 2, that becomes 0, minus 0, so it's just 2. Okay, so the first one is 0, it's just 2. Then the next one, focus again here, so it's going to be 2 minus a quarter square lin a quarter plus one. Just take your calculator and start pressing. Now I will press it like this. I will say two minus and I will press a bracket. Okay. And I will say, actually you, you can already work this out. That's not very difficult. It's one, one times one is one. Four times four is going to be 16. So I can say one divide 16. Okay. Uh, multiply len and then I put, will put another bracket and then this is 1,25 or you can say 5 divide 4 if you, if, if you make this times 4 times 4 so 5 divide 4 and now remember I closed this bracket but then I closed the bracket that I was putting there in the beginning and then and then I press equal and then Remember, they want the answer to two decimal places, so I'm going to make three. So it's going to be 1.986. Okay.
And don't make it too small. I really am struggling now with this space. Okay, and then you do the same. Then you're going to say 1, 2, minus, and now it's a half square, and then it's lin, and it's a half, and I will repeat it another time, how I press it. So basically, I, I don't, I work this out, but I press the bracket there, and I like pressing a bracket there, there, and then I close it two times. So I press it, you can do it easier, you have, you know your calculators may be very good. So two minus, and then bracket. I can see this is 1 over 4 because it's squared. So 1 divide 4, and then I just put a multiply. Multiply len, and that's 1, one and a half is 1.5. So 1.5 close the bracket. I didn't put now another bracket, so now I must actually look because now in this one, I realized now that because I was having 1.5, I left that out and then equals. But as long as you come to 1.899. Okay. And then the, the next one, okay, so it's going to be y is equal to 2 minus 3 quarters square lin, and that's 3 quarters plus 1. Okay. So remember this is 1.75. Then I basically can just put my bracket there. And this is going to be 3 times 3 is 9 and over 16. So let's see. So 2 minus bracket. Okay, remember 3 times 3, 9. Divide 4 times 4, 16. Multiply lin, and that's 1.75. And close the bracket equals. And that's 1, oh, I want to get my green. 1.685. Okay, and then the last one is y equals 2 minus 1 square lin, and then it's 1, always focus here, 1 plus 1, that's an easy one, so it's 2 minus bracket, this is just, so it's just lin 2, don't even have to put the bracket, lin 2 plus the bracket equals, and that's 1.1.307. Okay, Okay, and now, now I'm going to start with that area. So I'm going to say area. And now you will see the textbook as for approximation you do it some, but it's not, it's not going to influence so much. So it's zero plus the middle two. Oh, sorry, I just want to get my pen correct. Plus, this is my middle one, so it's two of them, uh, y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4, and that. And now I just substitute. So remember, what is h? It's a quarter divided by 2. Okay, so it's actually going to be 1 over 8. And now I start. So it's 2 plus 2, and then it's going to be... Um, I'm, I'm focusing here, so 1.986 plus 1.899 plus 1.685, okay, plus 1.3, that last one, uh, 1.307, okay, and then I'm just closing that bracket. Okay, so remember this is 1 over 8, and basically I can just press it on the calculator. So uh, you don't have to, but okay, now I made it self complicated by I wanted to. So let's just rather get what's inside the bracket and not write everything down. So let's just do the inside of the bracket. So 2 uh, plus 2 bracket 1.986 plus 1.899 plus 1.685 plus the bracket plus 1.307 equals. It looks like I'm getting 14.447 and then actually multiply 1 over 8 or um, divide 8 and I want to see, yes, I got the correct one, it's nice. 
it's 1.3 um, significant, so 8, 1, and it's units. Okay, and that's how you do it. And then the final question. State with a reason whether this trapezium rule gives an underestimate or an over. Now, if you are going to draw in here your trapeziums, okay, then remember it's, it's going to be, a, um, that's not very good, but, but it's going to be a bit short. No, that's not so short. Okay, okay, but basically, um, you're going to be a little bit short every time. Okay, but because this is very clear to see, I can see that according to my statement here, it is a convex, and convex will always give me an underestimate. So just stop. end up by saying from the, oh, sorry, from the graph, you can see this area is an underestimate. Since, uh, you can say, since the top edges of the strips lie below the curve. Or you can also say, this is the actually good also to say, you can see this is convex and convex always given underestimate. Something like that. But they actually just, they say state, well, they state with a reason. So you have, cannot just state, you have to actually give a reason also. I think then it will count two marks. And that's how we will do it.